Hey, Renee. Hey, Collier. Didn't Mary Elizabeth call you? She had to go to court early today. You're kidding. Oh, is everything all right? No, I just don't understand men at all. Oh, well, I'll tell Mary Elizabeth you came by. Collier. What does it mean when a man says, I love you? Well, it depends on the man and the situation. It, it could mean a lot of things. Like what? Well, like, um, I, I love you and I want to marry you. What else? Well, I love you and I want to have sex with you. I, I don't know, Renee. Well, I don't know either. I mean, that's the problem. One minute Turk is introducing me as his friend. And then the next he's telling me that he loves me. Well... Maybe I can get Mary Elizabeth on her cell phone. Collier! Well, heck, Renee, I've only said it to one woman in my whole life. I mean, how many times have you said it to a guy? I don't know, maybe a couple. And what did you mean by it when you said it? I just don't understand how medicinal marijuana is legal in Maine and California and Arizona and all these other states, and it's not legal in Alabama. Well, that's because we have a higher moral standard. Look. It says right here, the Supreme Court ruled. It was against the law, no matter what the states say. And we're not talking about medicinal marijuana. We're talking about drug trafficking. That's the question we have to answer. If we convict this woman, she's gonna go to jail for 25 years to life. Why are you being so stubborn? Just because you don't agree with me doesn't mean that I'm the one who's stubborn. This just doesn't seem right to me. It doesn't matter whether it seems right or not. It's the law. Now it's about time you got with the program here. Or what? Hold on, okay? Look, we're all tired and cranky. We've been cramped in here for two days already. And we'll be cramped in here for two more days if that's what it takes. I think that we should put it to a vote and see where everybody stands. Excuse me. I am the four person only I can call a vote. <clears throat> everybody, we're going to take a vote on the question of drug trafficking. All those who find the defendant guilty Please raise your hands. What is the matter with you? The law is wrong, and you can't make me vote guilty. What exactly is Mr. Majors guilty of? Counterfeiting, possibly forgery. We haven't decided yet, but we know he's reproducing money without permission. He's creating art, which means he's protected by the First Amendment. He doesn't need your permission. Passing fake money is a felony. Bartering for goods and services is not. In fact, I accepted this painting in exchange for my legal services. Mr. Majors never represents his paintings of money as anything other than art. I'm prepared to let the courts decide. That's fine, but until then, I demand that the U.S. Attorney's Office return all of Mr. Major's artwork. You demand? Otherwise, I'll be forced to sue your office and the Secret Service for illegal search and seizure. They had a warrant, Miss Jackson. For his studio, not his apartment. As I said, this is an ongoing investigation. If you want to waste your time arguing semantics... I don't semantics... waste my time on anything, Mr. Gibbons. I think you'll find all of my paperwork is in order. Here's my paper, Miss O'Neill. It's about the, uh, the origins of the clan in Birmingham. Well, Mary Elizabeth, it's not really appropriate for a school paper. I'm almost ready. I always just have to find my errands. We're the men. We're going to be late. But James said they'd be right back. Oh, Mom, I cannot go. I've never been to a real dinner club. And you will not be going tonight. Are those my earrings, Teresa? And my necklace? Well, don't they look good on me? It'll only take me a minute to do my hair. No, you will be staying home tonight with your sister. Now take those off. And is that my gardenia floral I smell? I just opened it up for a whiff and the sink got all over. I'll look this over later. Oh, you know what? It would be better if you just do that now. Just uh, skip to this middle paragraph. That's where I go on about how the Klan is a, a secret society, but a lot of well-known people in the community are involved, like uh, businessmen and doctors, policemen. Only they don't want anyone to know. I'll give it my full attention. There's something I have to tell you, Miss O'Neill. Catherine, we're back. There's my gal. Oh, hi. Uh, I've got a little something for you. Oh, James, you didn't have to. Iris is from Iris, only they're not half as pretty as you are. Oh. Hmm. All right, you two lovebirds, let's go. Mary Elizabeth, don't stay up too late. Come on, baby, let's go. Oh, James, you look so sharp in this suit. Oh, well, I'll tell you thank what. You. You're so yeah, gorgeous. Wait. I'm on a cocktail. Cool cat, my friend. <laughs> well, Mary Elizabeth, you're supposed to be asleep. Is something wrong? 
Are you sick? Well, all right then. Good night. Uh, Mom, what's the matter with Uncle Jimmy? The matter is he's in love. No, that's... that's not what I meant. I mean, why is he so... Why does he hate anybody who's not white? Well, that's hard to explain, Mary Elizabeth. Your Uncle Jimmy has had a very hard life. He didn't know your grandfather. So he acts that way because of Grandpa O'Brien? I mean, it still doesn't make it right. He's your father's brother. He's family. You didn't see him tonight, Mary Elizabeth. He was laughing and dancing. Dancing? Yes. Uncle Jimmy? Iris is the best thing that's ever happened to Jimmy. Good night, sugar pop. Teresa, turn the light off. I just... <sighs> what are you doing writing a school paper about the clam? Are you trying to get between me and my gal? Is that what you think you're doing? I'm going to tell her that you're in the clan. And that you march in parades. And that you go to rallies. Where do you think we met? I don't believe you. There ain't nothing you can say or do that's going to break us up. Breaking up with me? No, it's just that well, my doctor told me that since my operation, I shouldn't make any major life changes. And going out with me is a major life change? Being in a relationship is uh, we can still go out and see each other. Oh, I see. So I guess you've already decided what we are, friends. And colleagues. And yes, I'd still like to be friends. Oh, cut the crap, Renee. Excuse me? You're pushing me away. This is the real thing, Renee, and that's what scares you to death. Because you think I might find a few reasons why I shouldn't go out with you. I think I've heard enough. No, you haven't heard anything. Because you're not listening, Renee. You're afraid of intimacy and commitment and real sharing. Now, you'd rather bury yourself in work than do the real work required to be with somebody. Renee, falling in love is a risk that requires change. But you'll only take a calculated risk when there's nothing to lose. Are you done yet? With you? No. Never. I can't take this anymore. She has completely lost her mind. As a matter of fact, only two years ago, in the state of Alabama, it was illegal for my white daughter and my black son-in-law to be married. Thankfully, that law has been overturned. By a vote of the people, not by a jury. Yeah. By whatever means necessary. Oh. Sometimes you have to ignore the law to do the right thing. You mean like the white racist juries that didn't convict Klansmen when they lynched blacks? No, like the open-minded.